this video tutorial I will cover singleton scope. Here I have defined a class uh, employee. It has uh, name property and uh, getter and setter methods for uh, name property. And uh, here I have overridden uh, two string method. This is a spring configuration file. Here we have mentioned employee bean should be created by spring container and uh, we have not specified uh, any scope for uh, employee bean. So by default employee bean scope is uh, singleton. Employee bean scope is uh, singleton. So only one instance will be available in spring container. Using get bean method how many times uh, we retrieve employee bean we will get the same employee instance because uh, employee bean is singleton. Here I have defined a class uh, app. Here I have created uh, application context object by reading a uh, spring configuration file. Using getbean method of uh, application context object, retrieving uh, employee 1 and uh, setting name as uh, John, then uh, printing the employee 1. And uh, here you can see the output. Again, I am using uh, getbean method of uh, application context object and uh, retrieving employee 2 and uh, printing uh, employee 2 and uh, here you can see the output and uh, in employee 2 I have not set uh, name as John but uh, we got uh, name as John in the employee 2 because uh, employee bean is a singleton scope so it will return the same instance again and again so the second retrieval of uh, employee 2 we got uh, name as John which was uh, set previously by employee 1. 